Uh, my name is Scott Metzger. I'm the founder of Freetail Brewing Company near San Antonio, Texas. Uh, we're one of two brew pubs in San Antonio, uh, but we're one of the top five uh, largest brew pubs in the state of Texas already in our first year. Uh, we're one of the most uh, top rated brew pubs in Texas, uh, and uh, that's what we do. Okay, well, uh, we're kind of unique for a brew pub in that we brew a very large uh, range of beers that we have on tap at any time. So we like to keep between 10 and 14 beers on tap at a time that we make, uh, whereas a typical brew pub in Texas would have like four to six. And maybe if you run into a brew pub with eight, it's like, ooh, this place is crazy. The following week on November 1st is one of our big uh, releases that a lot of people are looking forward to, which is our release of uh, La Muerta, which is our imperial stout. Uh, it's around 10% alcohol, uh, really rich, chocolatey, a little bit of a smoke uh, flavor to it. Uh, the, last year when we released it, got a great response. And in fact, it's one of the most sought after beers that we make out just in the in the blogosphere and, and, and beer sites and stuff. I see people trying to trade for it all the time. Uh, so that comes out November 1st for Dia de los Muertos. Um, so that's a beer that um, we also bottle. Um, bottles of it will be coming out uh, on our anniversary weekend, as well as bottles of the Hypothesis and bottles of the Anniversary Ale. Uh, but we do very limited amount of bottles. Last year we did 150 bottles of La Muerta. So it's like, and I see them popping up all over the country, like reviews in New Jersey or Atlanta pop up. And I, I'm like, how did this person get a bottle, first of all? Because, uh, you know, we, we only sell it here at, at the brew pub. So um, this year we're upping production uh, to probably around 200 bottles. So it'll be more bottles, but not that many more. Uh, and, you know, we're expecting, last year when we, when we announced it was coming out on this day, there were people waiting in line before we opened, like six people. Uh, I'm curious to see how many people are waiting in line this year. Uh, myself, I'm half Mexican-American, half German-American, uh, and uh, my mom's side of the family, the Mexican-American side, uh, like a lot of Mexican-American families, very large. Uh, and very festive and won't, and won't do all sorts of things. So, you know, I grew up around that around that culture. Uh, so that that's something that's always been ingrained in, in me personally. And then my brewer Jason uh, is you know very in tune with local culture as well. So uh, La Muerta, you know, what we want to do with it is create a beer that uh, was you know could be highly sought after, but could be something that you could use and kind of reflect upon you know your departed loved ones with. So. Uh, the day it comes out on Dia de los Muertos, we actually, uh, right before the, the release, released, we have like a, we have a little Dia de los Muertos feast uh, where we leave out some food for the departed to come feast on and then we release the beer. So yeah, it's all wrapped into that local culture that we love to celebrate.